Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering quick sort algorithm with an example. Guys, I have uploaded complete DAO subject tutorials. I will provide link in description. You can watch from there. Let's get started. When compared to remaining sorting techniques, Quicksort is one of the best sorting technique. It is based on the partitioning of array into smaller arrays. In Quicksort, for example, there are elements in an array. We will break this array into smaller arrays and perform sorting. It is based on the principle of divide and conquer strategy. Quicksort follows divide and conquer strategy. In divide and conquer strategy, we will break large problem into smaller problems. For example, this is large problem. We will break this large problem into smaller sub problems and we will find solution to the sub problems and at last we will combine all these solutions into single solution. This is known as divide and conquer strategy. Whereas quicksort follows divide and conquer strategy. Average and worst case complexity of quicksort is O of n log n. These are the steps which we need to follow in quicksort. In quicksort at first we need to find pivot element. This pivot element divides an array into two halves one is left half and one is right half and in step two we need to perform quick sort on left half and at last we need to perform quick sort on right half this is how we perform sorting by using quick sort i less than p less than j that means i is left side elements whereas j is right side elements where pivot is placed at center i will give an example so that you can clearly understand how to perform quick sort this is an example which we need to solve by using quick sort sort an array we need to arrange these elements from ascending order to descending order that is from small to big by using quick sort you need to remember one thing in quick sort at first you need to select pivot element such that all left side elements of pivot should be smaller and all right side elements should be larger than pivot this is an example 10 80 30 90 40 50 and 60 total there are seven elements there is no proper rule that you need to select only this element as pivot element so you can select any element as pivot element you can select first element as pivot or middle element or you can also select uh, last element as pivot element in this i am selecting last element as pivot element and you need to select first element as i that is smaller element and last element as j first element must be i and last element must be j this is rule which we need to follow i must be smaller than pivot and j must be larger than pivot now we need to perform sorting based on this rule that here i took pivot as 60 what is rule i less than p what is i i is 10 10 is less than 60 this condition is true because 10 is less than 60 so if condition is true that is if i is less than p then move i one position forward and again we need to compare i and p here now i is it it less than 60 here condition is false because i is not less than p so here i is here condition is false if condition is false then we need to swap i element and j element we need to interchange i and j elements that is 10 in place of it we need to write 50 30 90 40 and in place of 50 we need to write it and here 60 is pivot element here i is 50 and j is it because we interchange elements whenever we perform swapping swapping is nothing but interchanging elements whenever we perform swapping we need to move i one position forward and j one position backward whenever we perform swapping we need to move i one position forward and j one position backward this is condition i less than p if this condition is true then move i move i one position forward if i element is less than p element in this 10 is less than 60 so what we did is we moved i one position forward if condition is false in second situation condition is false if condition is false then swap i and j i and j elements and after interchanging i and j elements we need to move, move i one position forward and 
move j one position backward here i moved one position forward now after moving one i one position forward our i element is 30 and j element is because i moved j one position backward so j element is 40 again we need to compare that is i less than p what is i 30 30 less than 60 this condition is true whenever condition is true we need to move i one position forward now again we need to compare that is 90 less than 60 this condition is false because 90 is not less than 60 whenever condition is false then interchange i and j elements that is 10 50 30 now i element is 40 and j element is 90 8 and 60 60 is pivot whenever we perform swapping move i one position forward and move j one position backward it is 10 50 30 i moved j one position backward so j is 40 and i moved i one position forward so 90 act as i element it and 66 60 is pivot whenever actually i should be first and after i there should be j but in this j came first and after j there is i so whenever i crosses j and j crosses i in that situation we need to stop performing swapping and then place i place pivot element in between j and i that is we need to place pivot in between this 40 and 90 j and i after that 10 50 30 40 60 60 is pivot element 90 and 80 what is condition i less than p less than j that is all left side elements of pivot should be smaller than pivot and right side elements must be larger than pivot this condition is satisfied because all i, I elements are less than pivot see 10 10 is less than pivot that is 60 50 is less than 60 30 is less than 60 40 is less than 60 similarly right side elements 90 90 is greater than 60 and 80 is greater than 60 after that again we need to perform swapping so 10 50 30 40. for these elements we need to perform swapping and for these two we need to perform swapping I took last element as pivot element and first element as i and last element as j. What is condition? That is i less than p less than j. This is condition. Again, we need to compare. That is i less than p. That is 10 less than what is pivot element? That is 40. 10 is less than 40. This condition is true. Whenever condition is true, you need to remember these two things. Whenever condition is true, move i one position forward. So I am moving i one position forward that is from 10 to 50 now 50 is i element again we need to compare 50 less than 40 here i is not less than p whenever condition is false then swap i and j elements that is we need to interchange i element and j element that is 10 30 now 30 becomes i element and 50 becomes j element and this is 40 and after performing swapping then move i one position forward that is we need to move i one position forward and we need to move j one position backward so 10 30 i move j one position backward so that I act as j and 50 act as i element because i move i one position forward and 40 is pivot element whenever i crosses j and j crosses i whenever j comes first in that situation we need to stop performing swapping and we need to place pivot element in between j and i so now answer is 10 30 this we need to place pivot element in between 30 and 50 so 40 50 see all are in sorted format that is all these elements are from small to big and similarly we need to perform swapping for these two also mm, that is 90 and 80 here i took 
90 as I and Yt as pivot element. Here there is no J, so directly we can perform swapping. Directly I am interchanging elements Yt and 90. So after performing swapping, we got all elements in sorted format. We arranged all these elements in sorted format that is 10, 30, 40, 50 and this pivot is we arranged this left side elements in sorted format and pivot element is 60 and after 60 80 and 90 80 and 90 all these elements are arranged in sorted format this is how quick sort will work we need to remember these two condition that is if if i less than p if condition is true then move i one position forward and if condition is false then we need to swap we need to interchange i and j elements and after interchanging i and j elements we need to move i one position forward and then we need to move j one position backward based on these two conditions we can perform swapping this is pseudocode for quick sort we are performing quick sort on array of elements that elements contain lower element and as well as higher element if lower element is less than higher element then at first we need to find pivot that pivot divides an array into two parts that is one is left off and one is right off this pivot partitions array into two offs one is lower off and one is higher off if you see this example in this example i found pivot that is 60 this 60 divides an array into two parts one is left half and one is right half we need to perform quick sort on this left half and we need to perform quick sort on this right half this is meaning of this we need to perform quick sort on left half left half contain lower elements that is which is less than pivot and right half contains higher elements which are greater than pivot so here i written pivot plus one 